Moschino, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the 2023-2024 school year. It's going to be fantastic. This year we have a couple of big rocks that we're focusing on, and I'd like to spend a little time just going over briefly each one of our focuses. You may notice a theme around the building. We have QR codes on the presentation, on the wall over here, and on the wall by my office. We want you to have fast access to these resources, so you can, don't worry if you miss it, you can get access to any of these apps from the QR walls. So let's get started with the most important big rock, and that's safety. So I know all of our parents and students want to be in a safe school, and Canyon School District has taken a lot of time and allocated a lot of resources towards um, creating welcoming, secure, and prepared buildings. And a big event has happened this year. All school districts have been working with law enforcement and first responders, and we'll all be using the same term this year and it will look like this. Bruce Wood has been trained on this already so our, ch our children will be, will be doing drills every month and they'll be practicing some of these safety drills and I will communicate to the parents uh, what the kids have practiced and when those drills have happened. We also have a Safe Utah app. If you need any support with any crisis or any concern you can have access to counselors who are available 24 seven, and they'll be able to give you any immediate help. And that's anything with family concerns or school concerns. So please consider downloading that app. Okay, I am the school's safety liaison, so if you have any questions about safety, uh, please visit the district's website, it's fabulous. There's so much information on there, and we just follow the district's model. So we'll be doing exactly what's on there. The next big rock is communication, and you'll notice I wrote Parent Square. That's the big change this year. In the past, we've used eight platforms, eight, to try to help everyone and to meet their needs, and it wasn't working. So Canyon School District is adopting a one-stop shop of Parent Square. Is there anyone here that uses it with middle or high schoolers? They've been using it before us. Well, elementary is going to use it this year. And it looks like this. You'll see that little icon there. Anytime you have a, an, um, a Parent Square notification, or if you get the app. And uh, I want to show you a little video so that you can learn about how we'll be using Parent Square this year. Congratulations. If you are watching this video, it means that your school is using Parent Square. You may be asking yourself, what is Parent Square? Parent Square is a safe, secure, and modern approach to communication and collaboration between school and home. It is a central hub for all districts, school, grade level, class, and group notifications about your children. Better still, school communication comes right to your fingertips in a way that is convenient to you, whether it be email, text, or app notification. You will also receive texts or voice calls for urgent alerts and reminders. You should have received an invitation from Parent Square via email or text asking you to activate your account. You can also request another activation invitation with the email or phone number that you provided to your child's school at parentsquare.com or on the app. If you don't remember the information on file at your child's school, please fill out your Join Your School form to send a request to your child's school to add you to Parent Square today. Parent Square also has easy-to-use apps for iOS and Android phones that can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once logged in, you'll see your custom Parent Square feed. This page shows all information related to your children, including any school-wide, grade-level, class, or group-specific information. No more need to search through emails, schools, or multiple websites to find important information. Prefer text messages over email? No problem. From your account page, you can update your notification preferences, so information is coming how and when you'd like it. Language settings can also be changed, so information is coming in your preferred language. Parent Square is great at increasing collaboration and helps you get involved in your school communities. You will automatically receive information from the school office and your kids' classes, and any groups you or your kids belong to. You may also join a public group within the school. You can participate with just a click of a button. Parent Square allows you to fill out a form quickly. No more handouts and permission slips lost at the bottom of backpacks. You can sign up to bring in an item or RSVP for an event. 
You can also comment on and appreciate a post. Please give these generously to show your school community support. Using Parent Square, you can also chat directly with a teacher or staff member using our messages feature. This keeps all communication in one place without the need of additional directories or email addresses. We also have a personalized calendar to keep you up to date with school events, and our photo library stores all photos that have been shared over the course of the year. Thank you for joining Parent Square. Register your account, download the app, and start interacting with your school community today. Did you hear that? No more paper permission slips. We're going to be doing it on Parent Square. Um, so we will also be doing our first big event on Parent Square for parent-teacher conferences. So we, you won't be going through Skyward. We'll, for, from now on, we'll be going through Parent Square. And those are at the end of September, so it gives you a little bit of time to get on and a little familiar uh, with the app so that you know how to work through it. If you have any questions, give us a call, and we'll direct you to the IT people that will be able to help you make sure you get access to all things on Parent Square. Now, we are still going to be um, advertising and communicating through our website, spursewood.canyonsdistrict.org. It's fabulous. There's so much information on there for everyone. Please, a lot of your uh, questions can be answered if you visit that website. And also, we will still be posting on Facebook and Instagram. So please consider liking us on those two. Does anyone follow us on Facebook or Instagram? Did you see the picture of the teachers jumping up and down? We like, they're, they're so excited about the kids coming. So we like to post things really quickly to keep you up um, to speed so you get a quick snapshot of what's happening. So please like us on FaceTime and Instagram. Now, Parent Square is the most important one though. That's how all the communication is gonna be coming. Okay, our next big rock is attendance. Since the pandemic, um, attendance has really been a challenge. And here at Sprucewood, our, our attendance is down. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the importance of attendance. And the first thing I need to say is, if your student is sick, keep him or her at home. They're not gonna learn anything when they're ill, and they might even make other people sick. So please keep them home when they're ill. What we're talking about today is the attendance struggles we're having when the kids wake up tired, and they don't want to go to school, and they're sluggish, and they're fighting you. Those are the days where you need to send them. Attendance is super important, and longitudinal studies have shown that too many absences, whether they're excused or unexcused, it doesn't matter. The students aren't here, and they're not learning. And the studies have found that once the kids go over that 10% threshold, so we're in school for 180 days, that's 18. Once they get over that, it is so, so difficult for them to be successful. And it becomes very challenging and frustrating. And we don't want any of our kids to be frustrated simply because they're choosing not to come to school. Remember, if they're ill, keep them home. <laughs> All right, so this is a great visual to help put it in perspective. For some of our families who have chronic absences, this will show you a pattern. If it becomes a habit now and continues over time, it can be very detrimental. So if, they miss, if your student misses one day a week, even just every two weeks, that's 20 days in the entire year. That's an entire month gone, and they're behind their peers. That's gonna be hard to be able to stay up and catch up, and that can be frustrating. And if you make that a pattern over the years, oh my goodness, look all the way down here, if they do that all the way through high school, they could miss nearly eight years of school by having chronic absences. Of course, that's the exception, right? But it does happen, and we don't want that for our kids. Not even a year and a half of school. It's just too much. This visual is really important, too. Every minute counts. We do have some chronic tardies. Parents are bringing the kids 10, 20 minutes late every day. And look what that's doing for our kids. They're missing up to an hour or an hour and 40 minutes of instruction. Every day, our students start with a morning meeting where they circle up together and they get to talk to their friends, connect with their peers and their teacher, and they get to do greeting activities, they get to share, they get to play fun games, and also have a morning message that tells them what to look forward to every day. Could you imagine coming 20 minutes late a few days a week and missing that? It's not a good way to start the day. We want our kids to really be prepared. So again, if they're ill, keep them home. But Let's get these tardies um, 
How about we extinguish them? That sounds great. <laughs> so come on time so that they don't miss the morning meeting and they don't miss important instruction. All right, our next big rock is the code of conduct. Canyon's school district has a code of conduct for things like bullying, dress code, lots of other things. And we have that on Spruce Woods website, sprucewood.canyonsdistrict.org. I'm here to talk to you about one in particular is this one. It's here, guys, technology. The kids are coming with phones. And I'm not anti-technology. We need technology to survive in our world today. I know that. However, there are rules about phones. And I want to point a few out to you. There it is. So cell phones. If your student comes with a cell phone, they need to know that's a privilege. And parents need to know that we are not responsible for phones. If they get lost or damaged or stolen, we are not responsible for that. So you might want to consider that before you send a phone. Cell phones may not do be used during class time. They need to be turned off and put in backpacks. Now we do know that kids have watches on their wrists. We won't have them remove them, um, but they need to be turned off. Um, and, and the biggest part is here in yellow. If a phone becomes a distraction, it will be taken away. Like anything, like toys, don't send toys. If they're distracting, the teacher will take them away. Keep them for the day and send them home with you at the end of the day. They'll call you and have a conversation so we can make a success plan. Down here, it's really important that if your student is uh, responsible enough to bring a phone, they need to know how to use it. So they need to keep the phone off during the school day and also train them to use it before and after school. So they can check their messages or call you before they come into school. And then as soon as they're outside um, and dismissed, then they can check your messages again. I have a lot of parents who tell me, oh, no, no, that phone's going to be on because I need to have access to them for an emergency. And we have phones in every single room, and we have the office. So if you truly have an emergency, let us know, and we're going to get right down to it. But I will share with you some of the emergencies, emergencies that we've had this year with phones. Math class. How's your day going? That's not an emergency. Go home with so-and-so today. That's not an emergency. They can get those messages after school when you train them to do that. Uh, so I just wanted to make you aware we have a code of conduct and that we do with the influx of cell phones. We want to make sure no one's blindsided um, if, uh, if those phones are taken away and the teacher calls you, okay? Um, and if you have any questions about this, just give me a call. I know all about it. All right, our last big rock, the final thing is SCC for School Community Council. Our school community council is six parents who get to serve and decide on our school goals and where a lot of money gets to go to our school. We meet once a month for an hour virtually, and we have open seats this year. So today is August 17th, and it's the official kickoff. We have open seats, and I'm inviting you, please consider to serve on the SEC. It's not a lot of time. You don't even have to come here. You can do it online with us. And um, we have a few seats open, um, and so I sent out a parent square post already about it. So get on, and you can message me if you're interested in serving. Now, just because you um, reply to me doesn't mean you're on SEC. It means you're putting your name on the ballot. If we have more parents who want to serve than open seats, then we will run an election that will start on August 28th. Those will be paper ballots that you'll fill out and send back to the school, and we'll put them into our little handy-dandy secret ballot box, and then on September 1st, we'll stop the election and uh, communicate who our new SCC members are. Um, if you missed any of that, I've got QR codes over there on the wall and also by my office. Okay, so visit those QR walls, and that's the important formal stuff that I had to tell you about. But what I really wanted to call you together to say is, Thank you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting your students and our teachers. They've been in training all week this week, and they are just electric with energy. They can't wait to start on Monday, to meet your students, to see who the new class is, and to have a fabulous year. 2023-24 is going to be fantastic. Please come in, join the PTA, volunteer in the classrooms. We want to get our parents back into the building. And when you come in, when my door is open, literally and figuratively. It's an open door. Come on in and say hi. Um, message me on, on Parent Square with any questions. Call in the office. I'm available and I can speak with you and answer any questions you have. All right, thanks for coming. Have a great year.